Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and I wanted to ask, at the end of your day, is your desk littered with things like student artwork, or classwork, or homework? If it is, then you're sure to be able to put the die that we're going to talk about today to really good use. If you look, you can see I'm going to start with five pieces of colored construction paper, and I used these five sheets of construction paper to cut the die. It's a frame die, and you can see what happens. Now, what by cutting five at once, I was able to get five of this size in all different colors and five of this size and basically five of all the sizes so that all the things that you want to put on display in the classroom and you just want them to look more finished, they will when you put a little frame around it. Here's a good example. Maybe when the kids get their photos back, you want to be able to put it on display in the classroom before they take it home. How cool to put it in a frame. This is if they have a vertical orientation of the photo, but of course, because you're putting it together yourself. You know, if you want it, if it needs to be horizontal, that's up to you to decide. This is Aubrey's potato print um, that's going to go home for her mother. And here, sometimes even something that's really random and very um, involved, you can cut a portion of it out and place a frame around it, and it looks really very Picasso-esque. And if you want to make gifts with the kids, in this case with their thumbprint, along with some sort of a poem that maybe they wrote, that can happen. Even just ordinary homework, look how cool it looks when you take and you put a frame around it. Now when you put it on display on a bulletin board, it really looks special. And if I flip any of these over, you'll be able to see that there's really just tape on the back holding it together. You could staple it if that's easier too. You know what? Whether you want to frame a photo, or artwork, or classwork, or even homework, these frames, they make it easy. Be sure to check back tomorrow for more new dies.